When lumpectomy and radiation therapy was developed for breast cancer, one of the questions and concerns obviously was, is there evidence that that radiation therapy would induce some secondary cancer down the line? After more than 20 to 30 years of lumpectomy and radiation, it's been very reassuring that indeed the occurrence of a second radiation-induced cancer is extremely rare. The only one that seems to be definitely related to the radiation would be a very rare cancer called an angiosarcoma. These occur way, way less than one in a thousand, and obviously, being that rare, have not been a reason to argue against lumpectomy and radiation therapy for breast cancer. These tumors generally present many years after breast cancer and have a fairly typical appearance and biopsy would prove that it is, it is indeed an angiosarcoma. But these are rare enough that lumpectomy and radiotherapy remain a standard form of treatment for breast cancer. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.